out this uh, intake tube with uh, the gold reflective tape uh, in order to do it without getting wrinkles. So it's um, basically what we're going to do is we're going to cut it into strips and then just overlap them, wrapping the entire tube. First thing you want to do is mark off the bottom or the, uh, the part of the tube that you're going to see the least. So when it's installed on your car, uh, basically the side that's going to be facing down towards the ground. So I just put a little mark with the marker over there and I'm just going to draw a seam line down the, the tube. And now that's going to be my start and finish point as I wrap the uh, gold tape around the tube. What we're going to do now is just take some regular masking tape, rip off a piece that is longer than the diameter of your tube. Oops. Go around your tube. Then you can mark off the point where it just overlaps probably by five or ten millimeters. Take it off. So you can put that down on your plastic sheet or pad or the table, whatever you're working on, and just use that masking tape as a um, ruler basically of measurement to cut your strips. You can either cut down the middle or use a, a blade. I just find that you'll get straighter cuts by using a, an X-Acto knife. So there you go. There's one strip. We'll start wrapping. Um, just make note where your front is. So the front of mine will be right over here. Just so you don't forget, just put a little mark. But when you, what you want to do is you're going to overlap like this. Right, so then when you're looking at it from the front, it's overlapping the layer behind it. Otherwise, if you do it the other way, you'll see more of a ridge um, from the layer that's next to it. So just to keep it a little bit cleaner, we'll overlap on top of the one behind. I'm going to start at the back over here. Trying to do the first one. Let it go where it takes you. Push down. Make sure there's no wrinkles. There you go. Since this part of the tube is still fairly flat, we can um, use some bigger strips. That one looks alright. Push it down. No wrinkles so far. So try to keep that overlap now consistent. It's about five millimeters. We still have a bit. We can probably do this one last one without any wrinkles. So we're starting to get wrinkles. So we're gonna wanna Split this one in two. Just take it easy with it. Here at this point, you might want to see if you can start from the top 
it'll be easier to hide any wrinkles that you might get below. So let's say start from here. Might be okay. You can see why we have that overlap there. Alright. You can go ahead and do the next strip. So it's all wrapped up. Just go through, push it all down. Make sure you have no wrinkles. You can see the bottom's all covered, and the top is what you want looking nice. So, again, we have the overlaps going over like that. Just looks a little bit cleaner, whereas you can see the the back of them when you're facing that way. So what you want to do now is just trim off the excess. Okay, it's all done. So at this point, you can put it back on your car. Just some final shots of it. So there is zero wrinkles on this tube. And um, Again, so the orientation that you have it on your car, which on mine is going to be like this. So I have my overlaps facing the back. So it just looks a little bit cleaner that way. So it'll be like that. So I'll just mock it up in there so you guys can have a look. And then you can compare it to the picture that I took before I started. And there it is. Looks a little bit nicer. And you can finish it up, install all your, all your clamps. And yeah, look, that tube matches the French headlights, French fog lights there. Cool.